Hey guys, so I just want to make a quick video on how to tell ovulation in leopard geckos. Um, because I'm just about to breed my female with, um, contrast my male. Just because her ovulations, I've waited like a week so that her ovulations got bigger. And I'm not 100% sure on what that does. I know it's better. I can't remember if it's more eggs or, I don't really remember. I'm sorry. But I do know the larger the ovulation. The larger the ovulations, the better. So, uh, yeah. If you, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I have her on top of an upside-down tub. That is so it's easier for me to show you. So anyway, what I, how I personally show it is you can put them upside-down and slightly put pressure on their back. But I personally do not like to do that. My geckos feel extremely uncomfortable. What I actually do is I lightly... You can pick geckos, you can touch their tail. Um, it's not a myth that they will drop off, they will, but if you're very, very gentle, it will be okay. Like, I can't 100% ex explain it, but like, imagine barely holding on. Like, barely. You don't really want to squeeze at all. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll try to get it in good light. See that? I'm pretty sure you guys see it. Um, well, I see it. You guys, might, if you're watching this, you might not know what it looks like. But it is um that thing. See that white ball with red around it? You can't see the whole thing because of her stomach. There's normally two of those. Now... See, that's one. I think you guys can see that. The other one is somewhere over here behind that red vein, or that green vein that goes in between where the eggs are produced. And I, I'm, if I remember correctly, I think that holds, like, calcium for the eggs or something like that. But yeah, that's really it. They can be very, sorry, that can, they can be very small. They're not always that big, and they can be very hard to... Sometimes, depending on how small they are, it can be hard to see. So yeah, that is it. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video on that. So uh, yeah, I'll show you one more time. See that? You only see right there. It's white, and you see a little bit of dark right around it. That's it. Now, if you look back, see, you can see it a lot better. And, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I will have, hopefully, my May 2013 Reptile Room update today. So, yeah. See you guys.